Hey guys, how are you? So this is the mighty Bitcoin since our break and entry trade down here at 1665. Wow, yep, $800 virtually later. Um, big piece of volume here, um, follow through. This is what's called a very low vol move up. It's low volatility. Um, you had a little bit of a, a twitch after our target at the 2000 level. A little bit more twitchy over here. A little bit of up and downers, but not hugely so. This is a this is a steep climb, but it's quite low vol. Look at the small candles. That can go for a while. And sometimes what can happen, technically speaking, is you actually get a melt up first before you get your correction and your pause. And the low volatility nature of that means uh, implies that there can be a little bit more than most people expect to go. So many people call tops. That's what they like to do. Um, uh, by the way, when you get really strong charts that are slightly parabolic, use your log scale as well. So you get a better sense of percentage move rather than absolute move. This gives you a greater feel for your charting. So a couple of tips in here. Also, in terms of those of you which will be watching the market cap uh, list here, um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they're all here. We'll talk about Ethereum, by the way, right now. Uh, I know you all want to hear about the Ethereum. Yep. So, um, by the way, switch this from the US dollar, which is its standard. And then it just makes all the cryptos look so huge. Measure your cryptos against the industry base standard of Bitcoin. That's how you get a better relative assessment of movement. So you set that to BTC and then you can look at Bitcoin obviously against itself should always be a naught. Ethereum is actually slightly off. That's just for the last 24 hours. Bear in mind, um, it had a huge day yesterday so the ethereum we may as well just take it up i've done a separate clip pointing out how much it is but the ethereum uh, up at 0 0.08 against the bitcoin you'll learn to know these numbers forget thinking in fiat start training yourself to think in terms of uh, segments of bitcoins and learn about what a satoshi is yep a satoshi is the eighth digit behind the dot so how many satoshis do you have so 0.08 on um, ethereum is a big big move in terms of um, catching up but bitcoin's been also moving pretty strongly itself the big disappointing ones have been ripple and lumen and i'm seeing them coming off um, again i don't like them uh, at the moment i haven't been in ripple i swapped uh, out of uh, ripple after we had our targets and we had that inverted setup for those of you that didn't see that um, that's by the way while i'm here that's why i don't like um, uh, lumen uh, technically this is pretty poor um, this is kind of like rising wedge failure so i warned a few people of this we had a bit of a sell level here which i need to now extend with the charts moved on but we'd already highlighted this line right here that is kind of like a whoop, get out of the way a wedge uh, a rising wedge fall there with a bit of a limit level in around that level and it's falling back down and you're getting candles here last time they were bought up quite quickly on the wicks bought up quite quickly so this is starting to have a little bit of a rounded top and a bit of an exhausted move at this juncture i thought it was still potentially upside hence the reason behind these lower lines so you can see the analysis we don't pretend to know we probability base outcome um, what's going on and the minute we get new price behavior that indicates something else we flip and we get the hell out of dodge and this is looking weak so this is having a little bit of round the top on it for now all that said it could just get a massive hammer have a ding down have a massive hammer and come herring back up who's to know who's to know so this was the ripple cell we had this inverted and you needed to see that on a lower time frame but i wanted to show you why we were biasing long ripple initially when we had all these setups this is against bitcoin remember we're comparing against bitcoin forget the fiats they're all going to trash anyway don't measure against trash measure against bitcoin so up 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 she goes we had that inverted then um over there and will I make it on one hour? Maybe just, let's do two. Um, and there was a pattern, oh, that's still not enough detail. So this was all This was all in my premium blog um, with Basecamp for all our guys when we were flipping out. And I had this target guy saying, they're never gonna get down there. Never gonna get back down there to 19. Everyone was very much up, up, up the ripple. Well, I'm afraid it did. Guess what, you sold into um, those spike downs and you're doing quite great. And it was the first setup in a new trend. And I warned in that clip, it may overperform even when it was up here. First interim run, you get the rally to the funnel. Second interim run, here they are. I hadn't even extended them yet. That's where they were drawn when I did that pattern. Um, and you can see how that was run. And then you get the return move to what I call the funnel. If you want to learn more about what that all is, you're going to need to do a program with me. I don't want to sell to you guys. You just, you've got to decide if you want this knowledge, but this is, you know, it's incredibly powerful stuff, HVF theory. So you sell from the funnel back down and guess what? Run your target. So you were 
out of the ripple. Some guys could have gone short. I just don't believe in shorting too heavily um, in this kind of expansive realm. But against another crypto, you, it's more justifiably I wouldn't short against fiat, any any crypto at the moment. Um, so in the this was a perfect switch into the Bitcoin, and that's why we're getting such st stability. And let's 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 have a little peek at the Ethereum. Um, you can see I'm keeping an eye on Byte. That is Doge. That's looking a little bit weak or dizzy. Um, so let's get a let's get the Ethereum up. Um, so ETH BTC. Wow, melt up wick. That's always interesting when you get those. Um, somebody's done well selling out on that, but you can see that we've had a good run on um, Ether now against uh, Bitcoin. Let's get a daily, just get a little bit more data. So this was this uh, period of continuation. You had a massive spike there as well. Um, so the spikes are interesting. Let's just put that in inverted commas. But you can see this market has been strong. But the biggest one of them all, um, and I've been listening to some big honchos in the room here. I think they set up a foundation. Uh, I, I, I'm, you're going to have to forgive me. I'm not going to nail this. There's better people um, in this than uh, me for nailing it. But I was listening to some of the talk. A prominent guy who set up um, posts the Bitcoin and failure to make the ETF as some sort of a Bitcoin foundation. I think it's Bill, somebody or other. I'm getting to learn the characters. I was in a number of discussions today. Has done one for Ethereum and it had that big ramp effect on Bitcoin and it's had a very similar effect on Ethereum. So this is Ethereum Classic I'm talking about now, ETC. Um, uh, versus uh, the Bitcoin. I've always felt, well, I'd rather be with the new guys on Ethereum, and Ethereum has been the winner, but Classic, uh, more recently, uh, following that establishment of a um, foundation, I think it is. I have to get the phraseology right um, by uh, a key honcho that's uh, done a few things of great use. Um, and I'll get my story straight. I'm being a bit vague. But anyway, the key point is it's deemed a highly um, triggering event um, of significance for that. And you can see the volumes come in um, for ETC. I'm not so sure you want to just chase into that now at this junction, though. But that was your big mover. So just if you'd like to see the big moves. So a couple of pointers there for you. Super quick recap. Measure all your cryptos against Bitcoin. Do that. Learn how to do relative assessment analysis um, either on your own or come and find out how we do it and we have lots of very clever techniques which will take you to the next level and on top of that watch your volume um, and know how to use it and what it might mean and further to that uh, avoid shorting against fiat um, you can short against each other um, on a relative assessment basis, but be pretty confident. We have a very, very fixed methodology that gives us clear def determined entry point, stop placement, and target placement. So that is the way to do it. Um, if you want to find out more, get in touch with uh, support at the Market Sniper. Ask for details. Um, but other than that, just wanting to keep you up to date with the crypto side and do something a little bit technical uh, and show you some charts. We've got to love the charts. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, and yeah, keeping half an eye on NEM, but it's all looking a little bit Bitcoin dominant at the moment. Um, and I've actually got a, quite a reasonable holding in Bit coin itself now and I'm letting it just chug on for a while. It's probably the least um, long run in percentage termed grower but it's looking solid and strong and the others are relatively suffering. As I look at Ripple there was at one point a number two softening and softening and potential with a future downside to come. That's it. Uh, enjoy yourselves. I'll speak to you soon. And uh, yeah, support at the market sniper if you want to talk uh, any further about that which we do.